So hello my dear brothers and today in Kaiser Redux Ukraine will choose communism and that's not even a joke because today we are going to play as the kingdom of Ukraine and we are going to turn it into the real one communist state with Khrushchev in power of feet. So without further ado let's start our campaign and as always enjoy. Alright boys, today we are going to develop Poltava and Poltava region. But first, let's do something with that. So as you see, I'm a real one patriot of Poltava region. Ah yes, uh, what about Ukraine? Our kingdom. There you can read about the proclamation of uh, Ukrainian kingdom, what has happened after that, which problems we had in the past, and what do we need to do now and how will we live in the future, because we've got a lot of problems in our kingdom. Shenumerla, Ukraina. Oh, and Ukrainian government. Even in real life it's a funny scene. Uh, we shouldn't provoke the peasants, or we're going to make a new Maidan. Man, I think it's uh, some sort of mistake of developers, because 120 ships in Sevastopol in Ukraine, meanwhile in Odessa we have only 3-1. For example, even Ottomans have around uh, 30 ships in their fleet, Bulgaria has around 20. Even Austrian Empire has less ships than we have. I understood only one thing. Today God is on our side. Man, what could go wrong if we invite Khrushchev into our government? Khrushchev's speech. A dismiss Skoropadsky and invite Khrushchev to head a popular government. And now Ukrainian party of socialist federalists will become the ruling party in Ukraine. Yeah, in Ukrainian it's called Ukrainska Partia Socialisti Federalistiv and now they are in the head of our government. And now we have Popularny Front in Ukraine. Oh my god, finally expropriation. I love expropriation. Kulaks targeted by land expropriation. All land belongs to the big flopper. Uh, by the way, let's solve the language issue, which we have for couple hundred years in Ukraine. Starting from August 1936, we are going to make Russian as the second official state language in Ukraine. Plus, we will gain stability with that. But after making Russian as our second language, we received a national syndicalist protest in Ukraine because of this decision. But we won't step back and millions of workers don't think so as these dudes. Who wants to split Ukraine by language? Since monarchy was never popular in Ukraine and it was settled to us by Germans and Austrians, now let's get rid of it and in 35 days we are going to say goodbye to the Ukrainian monarchy and glory to the real one Ukrainian worst. Ukrainian corn worst. So after searching this focus we got uh, three decisions and of course we are going to choose the middle one because that's the only one normal way to make Khrushchev our worst, our new worst. The poor love Khrushchev, but hate the king, long live the republic. And as a result we have left Middle Europa. Why did we even sign up to half of this? I don't really know. Maybe because we were the German lab dog? And now we are the Ukrainian People's Republic of Soviets. And now we've got based Ukrainian flag, Ukrainian communist flag. Was based Ukrainian worst Nikita Khrushchev. Now let's develop Ukraine and make Ukraine great again. 
Boys, you know it's kinda interesting cause White Ruthenia demands our territory, but the only one problem is that Belarus is now the Russian puppet. Um, I don't know what to do, but let's take uh, the option never. You know, Russia, Belarus, they are together and Ukraine is one by one. It reminds me something. My first and main goal right now is just to make a great Ukrainian army with at least 72 divisions to defend Ukraine from different imperialists, from German imperialists and from Russian imperialists who want to divide our lands and just annex them. Whoa, Khrushchev got a new title, the Red Hetman of Revolutionary Ukraine. Long live, comrade. Khrushchev. Brudas, as fast as we can, now we need to search a global Ukraine and after that go to the Kamyan Cooperation, cause I want to join the Third International. And after that liberate our Ukrainian lands, cause we will gain core on a lot of regions. And of course, Ukraine needs to be a global state, a capital of the Eastern Europe. Uh, we've got good news. In the April 1937, we have joined the Third International. Uh, okay, I didn't uh, see one moment how Cuban People's Republic became our puppet. The market liberals. All right, in the future I want to annex them, but not now. My goal for now is to develop mainland Ukraine, not Kuban, with which I have only one connection through Crimea and Kerch. United forever in friendship and labor. All right, uh, not today. Today we're playing as Ukraine, so unite the people. The capitalists did their best to divide the people of Ukraine, imposing chauvinism and intolerance on the national minorities of our country. But new leadership with Khrushchevs is ready to fight this deception and will encourage a policy of unity amongst all citizens of this great nation. Let's fucking do it. Uh, the new Ukraine. Without Comrade Khrushchev, there would be no new in Ukraine and no corn in Ukraine. Damn, I can say that we have built a great socialist state in the Eastern Europe, which soon will unite all Ukrainian people in one state. Brudas. It will finally happen. In May 1979, we will finally start building Kami blocks in the whole Ukraine. Holy shit, let's do it. I wanna see a lot of Kami blocks in the all Ukrainian territory. In 95 days, we're going to start a liberation war against the Eurasian Union and Moscow Accord. I'll show you all positions from which we will attack Belarus. By the way, our Brudas has started the Second World Krieg. The Kamen of France declared war on the German Empire. Okay, we wish luck to the our Communard Brudas. Oh well, Eurasia has attacked the Reich's Pact too, so they will have the war against the German Empire, and that is a big plus for us. Come on guys, it's the perfect time to destroy Eurasian Union and we need to do that right now. And as I thought, the whole front line will be with the green bubbles. Sheesh man, we are capturing their lands pretty fast and now it's the right time to call Kuban into this war, so they will help me a lot to liberate Caucasia and uh, Don Steps from uh, Russian rule. Yeah, we check this out, bro wanted to capture Petrograd, but he misclicked and he has captured Volkhov. Meanwhile, Petrograd is still under the Russian control. And yeah, Caucasian operation has gone successfully too, so now we just need to close uh, those pockets in Caucasus and Turkey. And after that we will move these forces to the main front line to go further and further into the Russia and probably even go to the 
uh, nowadays Kazakhstan border and liberate Kazakhstan lands. And yes, Eurasia has finally capitulated and now we are going to divide um, uh, their lands with Germans and other states. But I just want to take Ukrainian lands, probably some Caucasian lands and Central Asia. And as a result, I have annexed the whole Eurasian Union, as well as Mongolia. And now we will move to the west to help our Kumunard Brudas to destroy the Nubian Federation and German Empire. And that's the way how the post-war Russian border looks like. So we have liberated Kazakhstan, Turkestan, liberated a good part of the Caucasus region, but we have annexed Kuban, Abkhazia and Don. Plus we have annexed Pinsk and Mozar, which were core states of Ukraine, and now we are preparing to fight with the Danubian Federation and German Empire. Guys, I think you know what do I mean with that. The great trail of schnitzel is coming. So now we will just declare war on the Nibian Federation and of course join the war against the Reichs Pact. So we will have a great front line with all of them and after that we will start our offense. Minus first, Damas, Lithuania has capitulated. Minus second, Damas, United Baltic Duchy has capitulated. Um, what the fuck is that? What the hell is Austrian artillery doing with my forces? Does he wanna come or what? I know what is that, it is a cum machine. Austrians just wanna steal my cum. Whoa, first huge capitulation, minus the Nibian Federation and Turkey, who are going to divide those states. And that's the partition of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Interesting fact, Berlin as well as Moscow were captured by Ukrainian forces. Only by Ukrainian forces. And now let's take the German lands and German lap dogs to us. I would like to have some colonies in the Africa, Ukrainian African colonies, only in Ukrainian Ohio. So let's do it. Oh yeah baby, that's the post-war Europe. And you know what, I don't wanna fight with Romanians and I wanna have good relationships with them, plus I gave them the South Bukovina, so you know what, they know that we are strong and the result of it is going to be... Yeah, you are right, it is the transfer of Bessarabia to have a great relationships and a good friendship with Romanian people because we helped them to liberate their state, we gave themselves book of us, so now let's be friends. And just look at this great Ukrainian People's Republic of Soviets. I like the shape of this Ukraine, for real. You know what? I'm proud of it. I'm proud of this Ukraine and I'm proud that I developed Poltava as much as I can. And of course, glory to our red hetman or red washed Nikita Sergeyevich Khrushchev.